Okay. Hello, oh, this is my uh, uh, duo based design I would like to develop the alcoholic made. So, normally, if I'm not in base, let me uh, close the doors real quick. Normally, if I'm not in base, but I'm checking for uh, door campers, I would have two doors open with three shocker traps. I don't know why that didn't save. So you walk through here. Why is that in your way? You uh, come up here. That is more expensive. Two garage doors and a ladder hatch. Cost 5c4. This is kind of an empty room. You can do whatever you want with this. Here's furnace room. Has five furnaces. Here's some box storage. A locker with a shotgun trap right next to it. Here's some more box storage. Two large boxes and eight small boxes here. Keep the count. That makes six large boxes. Eight small boxes. Another shotgun trap. The garage door and then, what happened here? Why does this keep breaking? Alright, well that's supposed to be a... Uh, armored door. You walk in here, and it's your T3. There's supposed to be a small box under here. Your battery, the beds, power for turret, right there. Then this is four, and there is another like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen large boxes. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen small boxes. So that'd make fourteen. And uh, the three furnaces here. So let's get into how to build this. So you're gonna want to start out. With Two by two, I'm gonna do this. Okay, uh, two by two. Actually. Just a two by two casually like this. You're going to want to put your TC right here. Start off with a large box right here. One right here. And then one right here. This will be your first loader. Jesus Christ. Then you're going to uh, make an airlock. Well, this isn't necessary yet, but... This is... The first part... For your expansion, it starts off with just a basic 2x2. Right, then you're going to want to uh, take off these... door. You get up here, you're going to have, going to have wanted to already made this at a shelf right here. And then build your honeycomb. Then over here, you are going to want to build another shelf. And 
and more on the ground. <coughs> and over here is Actually, this is not honeycomb. I completely forgot I was building this place. So yeah, this is there. The garage door is facing inward. Jesus Christ. Then you're gonna wanna place your ladder hatch like this. When you get up here. This one has to be facing outward. That way. You have to be able to wall everything in. Only two spaces are going to uh, need to be not walled off. So the rest just turns into honeycomb. There is no roof access in the last quite literally just place one whenever you want to go. So this is honeycomb. For this you're going to want to make a shelf here and uh our space here here so, so now you're gonna place a wall here for this it becomes coming over inside here place a garage with the door frame here first place down the solid shelf first, then come out and place the other one as close as possible. It only works if you get them as close as you possibly can. Makes it a lot easier to place your boxes if they're as close as they can be. Then you're going to place them like this. and then repeat on the top. you want to place it as close as possible so you can get in and out of here. Then over here you place down the locker. And now place your shotgun trap here. Place one here. Place one here. Preferably here down here, you're going to want to place them here, and here. You can place another one in there if you choose to, but I choose not to. So coming down here, you're going to want to place your T3 against the wall as left as possible. Then you're going to want to place your uh, medium battery here. And on this corner you're going to want to place three furnaces like this. Then get your turret out and place it as far back in those as you possibly can. Your beds should go sideways 
one right there, then one right next to it. Place a small box over here if you so choose. Go down here. You place them in them like this. And then up here, like this. And if you have to, put a small box down to get the placement of these down. Now in here, I, I, I forgot to, sorry, I forgot to say, but you're going to want to place this as far back as possible so you can get in here. Now you're going to want to place a large box right here, small box right here, and then another small box right here. Alright, now for your final box place, this should be drop box storage. Not really that important. Just for quickly dropping off loot and miscellaneous stuff. And then in here, I don't want to place three furnaces. Like so. And then two here. I'm not going to place them in the, you know, certain way. Just place them with enough to get you uh, through where you can access all of these. You don't want it to be sticking out is the problem. Song, it's just going to have to be right here like this so they can easily access it. And then fill in your door frames with garage doors. And that's the base. If you want to see my other designs, uh, like this video and leave a comment. And comment the word apple, so I know you made it all the way to the end. <coughs> if you enjoy this base build and you want to use it for you and your friends to play and use, go on ahead. I'm going to be using this base for a little while. Probably my, one of my favorite duo designs. So I'll see y'all later.